approaching a group of people is possibly the most difficult and emotionally demanding task that you can do while socializing. So what's the key? Imagine you're going to a networking event or let's say even if you're in a restaurant and then you see a group of people sitting there and you see a good potential of you talking to them. Maybe you're bored, you wanna to talk to some people or you're in a networking event, you wanna network. You see a group of people and you want to talk to them. And since they are a group of random people, it's very intimidating and it's emotionally demanding and you want to talk to them. So what should you, should you do in order to have a good first impression? And now I want to tell you something. If you go to that group by having an energy level less than the whole other group members combined, you are not going to make a good first impression. Because what you will do is that, think about it in terms of a value perspective, you will go there and if you don't have a high energy level, you will drain the group's energy down. And that will not make a good first impression and the group might resist you if you're approaching a group. So what is the best thing to do here? You need to know that your energy, energy level while approaching a group should be higher than all the members of the group combined. That's the only way you could make a good first impression. How you do that? Well, it's emotionally demanding, but if you know it's worth it to approach a group and make a connection with them, make a genuine connection and socialize with them, build a friendship, you should artificially increase your energy level. It is emotionally demanding, but you could do it. One of the ways is that you know, it's sometimes not bad to say some crazy things when you first approach a group. Sometimes you need to say some radical stuff, radical claims. Say some crazy stuff that no one talks about. And you should not overdo it, but if you overdo it, it's gonna make things worse. But if you do it to a moderate amount of saying some crazy stuff, saying some radical claims that no one else talks about, well then, you might have a chance to increase the energy levels and put yourself in the center of the group dynamic. And then you can, after a few minutes, boom, you see yourself in the group and everybody's talking and you are a member of the group. So what are the, what are the make, main crazy things you could talk about? Say you go to a group and they're talking about their New Year's goal and you can just say um, your New Year goal for 2023 is to make a million dollars. Or maybe you could say you're planning to you're planning to do something crazy. Just, just come up with something that's somehow against the group dynamic, build some curiosity, and then that's how you can increase your energy levels. And genuinely be energetic when you go to a group. Be enthusiastic, energetic. And uh, look at my Instagram content. I just posted a new video about the power of asking genuine questions on my Instagram. Go watch that video. It also teaches you about how to make develop some good questions. And yeah, use these two concepts together while you're in a group in a conversation and then you can really, really build value and build a good connection. Another thing, always ask the group how they know each other so that you can encourage everyone to be in that dynamic and everyone talks and then that's a good way to engage everybody and then you're there, you're listening, you're an introvert, you're listening on that time, you're gathering content and then you can ask more uh, relevant questions after that.